Welcome or welcome back on uh, C Square. In this video clip, we will talk about uh, writing, finding vertex focus directories for uh, some uh, parabolas for which the vertex is not at the origin. So let's take a look at these two examples, number 12 and 13. Uh, so we have here y equals x squared plus 4x plus 3. And uh, let's go back here. Uh, since this is y equal, we're going to use this form. And that's the thing that I'm going to try to get from this equation. And how am I going to do that? By that technique we mentioned before in a video clip, which is complete the square. So therefore, here I'm going to add a 4 that will make a perfect square this, here in this moment. I'm going to subtract the 4 and then I'm going to add the 3. So in this moment, you may want to stop a little bit and look to be sure that these two equations these two equations uh, represent the same parabola. Well, yeah, the second one is equivalent of the first one. And we like the second one because this gentleman here is nothing else than x plus 2 square. That's the reason we complete the square to get a perfect square. And here we have minus 1. And now I'm going to write that form I mentioned before. 1 over 4c uh, x minus h squared plus k. One more time. This is the form I, um, I'm going to use it. Uh, first of all, let's notice that h is negative 2 and k is negative 1. So the vertex, let me call it v, v will be negative 2 and negative 1. Okay, the next thing we can uh, notice is that uh, in front of the this equation, In front of this equation, right here, we have this invisible one. Uh, so then I'm going to write 1 over 4c equals 1, which is going to give me c equals 1 over 4. Okay, so now we have everything we need to find the other. Uh, characteristic of the uh, parabola. We identify the, foc the vertex. We can go for the next two focus and directories. For that reason, I'm going to go with a graphical way. Uh, if you really like these formulas, let me go back here. Uh, you can use them, right? focus, directories. But let me show you what I usually do. If I do not remember those two formula, I make a picture. And the vertex is negative 2 and negative 1. Uh, this is an open up parabola, right? And uh, the focus is going to be inside of the parabola, right? So we're going to have to move a little bit inside. Right here, this is the vertex, this is the focus. And the directives we're going to need to move a little bit out of the parabola, and that, don't forget, is a line. Right. How much you're going to move in and out? That is one form. So from this vertex of uh, negative 2 and negative 1, if we move inside to get the focus, we're going to stay at negative 2, right? And because the x coordinate doesn't change. And we move up 1 fourth, that would be negative 3 fourths. 
What about the equation of the directrix? Y equal horizontal line. We move from negative 1. From this negative 1, we move 1 fourth down. So that will be negative 5 fourths. Uh, go ahead and pause this video, people, and try number 13. So if you have this sensor for this problem, uh, did a wonderful job. The vertex is 3 and 2, C, 1, 4, like in the previous problem. That will allow us to go 1, 4 down, right, from, from the vertex, 1, 4 down, you get the directories, 1, 4 up, you get the focus, and uh, move on. Okay. Uh, for the next problem, you see that are so similar to the other one, however, is x equal y squared plus 4y plus 3 and then for we're going to use this equation uh, one difference here that should be y minus k squared plus h okay so uh, let's take a look here in the same story uh, we're going to have x equals y squared plus 4y plus 4 minus 4 plus 3 so you see it's the same problem like the other one just we're going to complete the square for y so we're going to have x equals y plus 2 squared minus 1 okay and now i'm going to write that equation i just mentioned uh, a little bit of a while ago 1 over 4c y uh, minus k square plus h and the first thing we can see is that k is negative 2 and h is negative 1 which give us the vertex of be careful here h is the uh, x coordinate of the vertex so negative 1 and negative 2 now similar to the previous problem we have 1 over 4 c equals 1 which is going to give us c equals one fourth. And now we can put everything on a picture and get the rest of the information we need. Uh, let's uh, mention a couple things on this type of equation x equal. You can have this way open to the left, open to the right. Okay, uh, the one you see here, 14 and 15, both of them are open to the right. It's a positive y square. Whenever you have a negative y square, it's going to be open to the left. If you do not remember these things, uh, 
use some value for y, find x, and you're going to get the orientation of the parabola. So here we're going to start with the vertex, negative 1 and 2, so negative 1 and negative 2. And again, it's going to be open right parabola because we have a positive y squared. This is the vertex, like I said, negative 1 and negative 2. Uh, we're going to go 1 fourth inside right here. That will be the focus. Uh, so that will be from negative 1, we go 1 fourth inside, negative 3 fourths, and negative 2. And the directives, let me exaggerate a little bit, is going to be a vertical line, y equals, and I'm sorry, x equal. x equals, so we go again from, from this vertex, which has a x coordinate of negative 1, we go 1 fourth left, so that's going to be negative 5 fourths. Go ahead and pause this video clip and try number 15. So again, you notice I complete a square, then I uh, find the uh, vertex. Uh, be careful here, h is 2, k is 3, so this is the vertex. Then uh, c again, c equals 1 fourth. In this case, that allows me to put a vertex, then move 1 fourth inside and get the focus, 1 fourth outside and get the directives if you enjoyed this video clip don't forget to hit the like button and come back on c square for more math video clips thank you